these other ones. Just down in front of me. If you look down the water, there's little um, little like tracks as well. I haven't found any. I found poo, but it's lots of just dry scab. So I'm trying to find some wet stuff. I'll continue along the bed, along the uh, river bed, and see what I can see. Guys, there's plenty of sign, but um, I think it's all a bit old. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, look how beautiful that is! Stunning. So yeah, plenty of sign, but um, nothing about. I think it's pretty old. It's all dry. So uh, I reached the boundary of where the creek goes, and I'm just admiring this view. I'll start to make my way home. If I catch anything along the way, that'd be great, but if not, I'll get to see this view. Alright guys, so day two, or first official full day, yesterday was just the afternoon. Just cruising along the property now, uh, it's just up over this hill here as there was a carcass on the other side a, a bull actually unfortunately died so they've just dumped the carcass up there so I just went and checked it to see if there's any pigs on it and there was nada, nothing, doesn't even look like it's really been touched yet but on the other side of the property which is where I'm going to now there was another carcass so there's a fair chance that they're all over there um, so gonna have a look see if I can find some piggies and if not there's also a, a fair fair bit of red deer around so I'll go for a bit of a look and ideally that's the big goal let's get some red deer this weekend so <clears throat> I'll go having a look at the uh, the common places that they hang out and see what I can find keep you updated so I just made a bit of a boo-boo unfortunately um, I was driving to that carcass I had a thought to myself maybe I should stop and walk once I get to this boundary and I didn't and sure enough I drove over the hill and straight into a herd of deer. That was probably about eight. Uh, there was two, two decent sized stags, and I think the rest were does. They were just hanging out in the lantana on the side of the road. Um, so of course, scared them. Uh, so what I tried to do was, well, once they saw me, they were kind of just inquisitive and stopped. So I reversed up and tried to take it by foot, but tried to go around on a big loop. And uh, of course they were gone, so fuck up number one, unfortunately. Uh, so what I'm going to do is quickly just pull the, the, the cart off of the road, off of the dirt road so people can get through, and I'm going to walk it from here. It's uh, a good example on why not to be lazy. The road deer just uh, hanging out in this Montana bush, because they like to eat the berries off of it. So if you've got uh, fields of Montana, it's a good place to glass. Have a look around. Obviously Montana. And if you can find any of the uh, curly grass or corkscrew grass. And apparently they absolutely love that. I just came back to the place where the deer were yesterday morning and uh, got onto four four does and their little little fawn uh, but unfortunately the wind swirled and blew on the back of my neck and went straight into them so I got to about 70 meters before that happened which I was pretty happy about not too much crawling had to happen it was kind of just low walking so I tried to get around to the other side 
um, of them and do a loop, but they were well gone by the time I even got around. So it's uh, I got some good GoPro footage. Hopefully you can see it all. It was, uh, like I said, about 70 meters when I started filming. Um, and that can obviously not look great on the GoPro, so hopefully, hopefully the footage looks good. But otherwise, I'll just keep trekking around.